Millions of people practice yoga as a way to stay fit or for relaxation, but could it be used as a medication? Andrew McIntosh has more as it impacts on kids. This health tip is brought to you by Humana. Visit our local office in the Prump Valley Junction Shopping Center or call 775-727-0871. So Aaron, we're going to start class today, how we usually start class, with our breathing. And I Aaron Schaefer spent years that. battling so debilitating migraines caused by stress. Deep breath in and breathing out. Since starting this yoga class, the headaches are gone. And when I started taking that, it was like a cure from heaven. Researchers at Duke University are studying whether a program that combines yoga and other therapies can help children's mental and physical health. It calms you down, it relaxes your body, it lowers your heart rate, it lowers your respiration, uh, and in general it reduces the effects of stress on your body. Dr. Morali Doraswamy says these relaxation responses can help mild depression and sleep disorders. Yoga may also provide additional benefits for people with schizophrenia and ADHD when combined with standard drugs. The benefits were of the same magnitude as the benefits that we see with psychiatric medications. Previous studies have shown yoga-based techniques can help individuals cope with anxiety, stress, and low mood. Researchers are studying whether these methods can be adapted for children and teens. Oftentimes they don't fully understand that kind of awareness of body and the awareness of how their thoughts and their emotions can be tied in with how they're feeling physically. His dad says it's been a great stress reliever for Aaron. And what had been three and four and uh, you know, a dozen headaches a week disappeared completely. And he can now concentrate on his dream of becoming an architect. I'm Andrew McIntosh reporting. Researchers hope that their findings will spur government agencies to fund larger national studies to confirm their initial results and make yoga a standard treatment option for mental conditions. They say their evidence is still preliminary and patients should consult with their doctors if they are concerned about a mental health condition.